hello and welcome back to my channel today we will be doing tikka from moana if you saw last week i did tefiki and i hope you enjoy this video as you can see i've already started i have covered up my eyebrows i showed the process of how i do that in the previous video so if you would like to see that i'll leave the link to that video other than that Let's get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just outlining every bit. Because she's like a volcano, it's basically just three colours. Um, so first I'm going to be going in with the Diamond FX white paint. I'm just going to grab a small brush. I'm just going to spritz it with some water and then I'm just going to start outlining where everything's going to go. Okay, now all that is roughly outlined. It's how exciting now to start literally colouring in. The three colours I'll be using will be black, yellow and like an orangey red colour. I might throw like a more of a red in there just to darken it up. Okay, so the first colour I'm going to be filling in this mess is black. So all of the... All of the shapes are going to be black, so I might start down here. In the meantime though, I just want to thank everybody who has followed me on Instagram and supporting me there. It has been absolutely wonderful. I can't believe how many followers I have gained in such, like, I feel like it's a short time. Now, if you are following this tutorial, when you colour these bits in, it doesn't have to be too exact of what you've, like, of the shape that you've drawn. Because just remember, everything you sketch out is just rough. And because this person's basically a volcano, it doesn't really matter if it's a bit messy. Obviously, everybody's not going to like what you post. Everyone has different um, interests and themes. But you gotta keep going. You gotta do it for yourself, no one else. Okay, so now that I have filled in all the black areas, I'm now going to go in with a red and orange paint. For this one, I will be using the Miron Paradise AQ paints. So it'd be like this one here and this color here. Also, can you guys comment below your TikTok usernames if you have one so I can check you out? I'm new on TikTok, or semi-new, I've had it for about a month, and I love finding new people on there, and seeing what everyone creates. So if you could leave that down below, that would be amazing, and I'll definitely go check you out, might even go give you a follow. Also, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway soon as well. Would, is that something you guys would be interested in? If so, definitely also let me know. 
because I can definitely do one. I was thinking of doing one once I hit 1k on Instagram. Um, but if I do, I'll definitely let you know on here as well so you can also enter it. So before I continue the rest of the body, I'm just going to quickly show you how I am going to fill that in and blend it all out. So I'm going to be using the same brush that I used for the red. I'm, go I'm just going to rinse it a little but then go into the orange. And then I'm just going to go in between here. Place it down wet and then it, when it dries out a bit, I'm just going to blend it. So it's going to look something like that. I'm just going to go ahead, fast forward and do the rest. So now I'm just going in filling the eyes with yellow and we are almost done. Once we do the eyes and the mouth, there really isn't much left to do. I missed an orange spot there. I always feel like when you um, when your character has a sad mouth, it doesn't matter what face you pull, especially your resting face, you just look like, you just look depressed. You just look really sad. One thing that I love about doing this character is it doesn't matter how rough you are, like you don't need to be precise or you don't have to colour inside the lines, like it is a very messy one and it's very easy to do. Okay, so I quickly went off camera and I just outlined my mouth, my eyes, I filled in the where the heart goes and I just put a bit of white paint on the lids just to lighten a bit of that area up. But this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a very quick and easy one to do, didn't put much time into it at all. But I hope you enjoyed anyway. Don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below anything you would like to see and i will respond to you see you next time bye